What's up guys, welcome back to another flea market grab video, but before we get into that, I'm actually going to pick the winner for the 10k sub giveaway. Um, I'm going to be using this YouTube random comment picker website. So what you have to do is you have to go here to the video, copy the URL, uh, and then paste it right here. It's going to filter out the people who put multiple comments, so it says there's 236 people. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and pick the winner. So I want to just say thanks to everybody who participated. If you did not put giveaway in the title, <clears throat> I mean not the title, the uh, comment, then I'm going to redo it again until I get somebody who does have giveaway in the comment. So let's see who won the 10k giveaway, which you will be getting the St. Louis Blues jersey, the Hornets hat, and the Dallas Cowboys shirt. So here we go. The winner is... Uh, I can't pronounce that. Jibe Orsine? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea how to pronounce your name, but you are the winner, and you did put giveaway, and you put your IG. So, message me on Instagram, so I can get your address and stuff, and I'll get that stuff sent out to you. And again, thanks to everybody who participated. I will be doing more giveaways in the future, depending on how this goes. So, now let's get back to the flea market video. Another buy to keep. Toys the Rust exclusive? Never even heard of it. Let's tape the hook. Grab both pairs depending on what he wants for them. Gracias. Uh, de soccer? soccer. soccer. Pero, uh, uh, estos, estos son para béisbol. How much are the shoes? Ten dollars. $10? Okay. Like this one. It's not funny. This? This describes Desi. Perfect. This is the exact category of the Desi hat, too. That one describes you. How much are these? Wimberly. <laughs> this thing has seen better days. Uncommon game for two bucks. Some Hornet LeBron 11. Not a big fan of the 11s, but only a couple of pairs. What is up, guys? Welcome back to another flea market grab video. If you guys are enjoying the videos, please hit that like button. It lets me know. This weekend, I did get a couple of good things, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I picked up. We got one video game this week. This is a game that a lot of people usually pass on. Uh, but they don't know it's actually worth about $25, $30, and it is the Simpsons game for the PlayStation 3. And I ended up finding this for only $2. A lot of people don't really know that this is kind of like an uncommon game, so it does go for about $25, $30 bucks on the PS3 and the Xbox 360. So I was happy to pay $2 for that one. You know, it is disc only, which kind of sucks, but it's whatever. It was only 2 bucks. I grabbed two hats. I got these two for 5 the first one is this Tommy Hilfiger strap back right here. Got Tommy Hilfiger spelled out on the front with the little Tommy flag. 
On the back, you got that brown leather strap with Tommy Hilfiger, the big H right there. And on the inside, you got the Tommy Hilfiger logo. And it has like a blue denim underbrim. This one's all right. I mean, for 250, I'm pretty sure somebody will be interested in that. And then the second one I picked up is this Dallas Cowboys. It's kind of like a corduroy hat. If you look real close, it's kind of like a blue corduroy type material, kind of like a denim, I guess. You just got the star right there on the front. On the back, you have NFL, NFC logo right there. And this one is by Nike, and it is a pro line authentic. It does have this little white mark right here on the side, but I can probably get that out. I'll grab those two for five. And next up, we got three pairs of sneakers. This first one I paid $12 for. It's kind of like a restoration project. I'm going to clean them up and see how they come out. But it's this pair of white Motorsport 4s right here. So obviously they're not in the greatest shape as you can tell. But I figured for only $12 I'd go ahead and scoop them up. He originally wanted $15 for them. But I asked him if he would do $12 because that's like all I had left at the time. And he did it. So I went ahead and scooped these up. And here is the other one. They do have like some dirt and scuffs on the toe. I'm going to see if I can get that out. By the time y'all see the overlay video of this, it's going to be after I clean them. So you'll see if I got them cleaned up or not. But I figured for only $12, I'd go ahead and take these. Then the second ones I picked up for $15 is a pair of the True Blues right here. These are the newer ones with the Nike Air on the back. These also need some uh, restoration work and they don't have laces. But I should have a pair of white laces somewhere around here. These are a size 10. These are my size, but I don't need them. Because as you can see right there, I already have them. So I don't need these. The left shoe has where like the R is falling off. <laughs> Like the blue paint's coming off of the R. Let me see if I can fix that somehow. But these are definitely one of, if not my favorite pair of Jordan 3s personally. And then the last pair I picked up, I actually paid $40 for these, but I think it's still a decent deal. And that is a pair of the Military 4s right here. And this pair is from 2012. So it's actually been a while since I found a pair this clean. Usually when I find these, the midsole right here is yellowed. Uh, the netting's yellow, this plastic piece is maybe yellowed. As you can see, these are actually still really clean. They do have a little bit of scuff right there. Um, a little bit of scuffing on the toe, but it's nothing too bad. Here is the other one. This shoe is really underrated in my opinion. I really like this colorway of this shoe. Um, people didn't really appreciate them when they came out, but people are starting to realize now that they need to go back and pick these up. So like I already mentioned, I did pay $40 for these. But I think it's a good deal, them being as clean as they are. You can tell by the bottoms too, how clean they are. I wish these were like a size smaller. I'd definitely keep these because this is one that I did want in my collection. But every time I find them, they're always like an 11 or over. I can never find them in that like 10, 10 and a half range. But I figured for only 40 bucks, why not go ahead and grab them for somebody who might want them. So those are my flea market pickups for this weekend, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe down below and drop a comment. And I will see you guys next week with another one. So later. I know.